morning, everyone. This is Elaine from Annabella's. Welcome back to floss tube number 79. I am very happy that you're here. If you are a new viewer, welcome to my channel. I'm very happy that you found me. This channel is primarily about cross stitch and quilting and paper crafting. And I hope that you'll take a moment and look up and subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell. That will just notify you when I have a new video that I've uploaded or I've got some fun news to share. To share. <clears throat> Pardon me. And if you are returning, thank you for coming back every week and choosing to spend a little bit of time with me on Friday mornings. I appreciate it. Um, you know how much I appreciate everyone. I didn't get to leave a lot of comments or reply to a lot of the comments last week, so I apologize. Um, but I'll give you all a bunch of hearts and tell you that I do read every single comment. Um, but I was very lax last week about being able to respond individually. But I appreciate you and I appreciate the time you take um, to respond on the question posed and hopefully to win some happy mail, which I'll announce in a little bit. Um, so let me just real quick share with new viewers a little bit about my philosophy at Annabella's. Um, my personal philosophy, as well as the shop philosophy, is that it is perfectly okay to be perfectly imperfect. And what I mean by that is it's okay if you make a mistake when you're stitching or paper crafting or quilting. You don't have to strive for perfection. It's just really nice to enjoy the journey of whatever it is that you're creating. And if your corners aren't straight or you stamp a card and the ink spills over um, or you miss a stitch, just be gentle with yourself. Enjoy your work, proudly display it, share it with a friend um, and enjoy the journey. And although I didn't, uh, I don't own the hashtag and I didn't or create the hashtag perfectly imperfect, I hope that you'll free, feel free to use that whenever you have some of your finished projects to share. So I've got blue up the mouth today, <laughs> but I'm very happy that you're here. So thank you. Um, so lots to share. Um, Terry, little life update. I do a little life update so you can scoot ahead if you're not interested in hearing anything about my life. Um, but a quick life update. Terry went to our home in Maggie to get the furnace uh, installed. And evidently, um, we live so high up in the mountains that we have to have a special high altitude thingy a bob um, for the for the thermostat um, and of course you know the guy that came out to give us the quote um, didn't know that or just forgot about it um, and they have to make it so it's not something they can make but thank goodness it's made right here in the USA in Texas so can you imagine because it's not one thing it's another right so as soon as the um, thingamabob is done, then Elaine's turn is going to be to go back to Maggie Valley and have the furnace finally uh, completed. Because as I mentioned, you know, we need to have that done before the first cold snap if we want to have any heat. Um, and that's, you know, a few months off. But, you know, things are, they move a little bit slower, you know, up in the mountains than they do, you know, here in South Florida. Um, I'm used to go, 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 and hurry, hurry, hurry. And up there, it's kind of like, well, Mrs. Forgy, we're going to order the part. And when we get it in, I don't know, maybe in a couple months, we'll call you. So I'm like, ah, <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Whole different way of life, um, but very nice. So that's the furnace update. Um, everything else, um, I had a very quiet week when he was gone. Let me just tell you, when he's not around, I love him more than life itself, but I don't, I can just kind of exhale because he's very high energy like I am. And when you put the two of us together, it's kind of like, bzzz. um, but he's great. And I actually have a great, um, new release by Annabella's Needle Art to share with you today. So stay tuned. But last week I spent most of the time, not most of the time, but a good bit of time, uh, finishing them off and you know doing FFOs on each one of them so <clears throat> I'll be sharing all of that with you in just a minute um, so I didn't do a lot of stitching I did a lot of finishing so I've got a lot of finishes to show you but I don't have a lot of stitching to show you um, still you know gearing up for the Needlework Expo which will be held at the end of August so when I do have time I'm kind of working on that on the side uh, but I hope to get back to sharing more of my whips and I forgot to bring my quilt it's sitting on my in my sewing room and I forgot to bring um, you know the top that I started so I will definitely share that with you uh, next Friday um, so the other thing I worked on all week is um, what I'm going to be sharing with you next Friday on Floss Tube. 
Next Friday, I have an absolutely huge announcement to share with all of you. Terry and I are so excited. We can't wait to share this with you. <clears throat> I'll give you a hint. It is not retreat related. Um, I know I do a lot of announcement, announcements about retreats, but this is not retreat related. Um, but it is a huge announcement and I cannot wait to share it with all of you. So absolutely be sure to tune in next Friday for Floss Tube so that you can learn all about uh, our big news. So I cannot wait to share it with you. Very exciting. Um, so, you know, zip. I, I just want to tell you now. I was supposed to tell you today, uh, but he shut me down. So I don't like when he does that. But he shut me down. He said, no, you need to wait another week. I'm like, oh, brother, okay. So, um, you know, I'm the boss, but he thinks he's the boss. But I'm going to listen to him and just wait. So next week, major announcement. Stay tuned. Um, anyway, so you ready for some cross-stitch stuff? So I've got a ton to share with you today. We got in a lot of new charts. Um, I have some fabric to share with you. I have some more Bella bundles to share with you. I've got some beautiful cross stitch fabric that came in too. Um, lots of new charts. And then I'm gonna share with you right now Annabella's Needle Arts latest release. Now the release that I'm gonna show you now is only going to be available in my Etsy shop uh, exclusively. So this will be exclusively available in my Etsy shop until Expo, uh, which is August uh, 27th, I believe. And that's when it'll be available to everybody else and available to uh, shops and to the distributors. So I'm thrilled to share with you our brand new uh, <laughs> um, series. It is All Things Halloween. So this, this is a five part series. So let me step back so you can see this. So you're gonna receive five charts in your booklet. And the first one is All Things Halloween. This is kind of like our um, big piece, but there you go. Look at this, look how cute. We, my daughter and I had so much fun with this. Just look. My favorite is this spider web. Look at that. I just love it. And I finished this off on a board I got from Hobby Lobby. Um, and I also, you know, did some burlap ribbon and just put a little bit of uh, a fall pumpkin and some leaves. Um, this board came in white. And what I did is I painted it with some black chalk paint because I wanted it to stand out and the white just didn't make it stand out. So this was finished. Um, just on a board from Hobby Lobby and on the back uh, is the item number. So I'm gonna go ahead and include that um, in the links below as well as all of the other ones that I'm gonna show you now so that if you do wanna finish it uh, similarly to how I did mine, um, you can go ahead and, and go right to Hobby Lobby's website or to the store and pick yours uh, backing up right there. But again, here is all the things Halloween and I just love it. So this is our big piece. Then we have three more in the series. The next one is Trick or Treat. Look at that little ghost, that's the back. And again, I got this at Hobby Lobby. Unfortunately, there is no uh, sticker, so I don't have an item number, but if you look at it, you can see there's a nice purple in, in there, so it kind of went very nicely uh, with this. And look at how cute another spider web. Here's our cute little guy and our cute little ghost. Um, and then I just, this came with the wood. So I just stuck this little uh, piece of wood leaf um, there just to add some more color. And I finished it with um, Chelsea's checks in purple and black. And we do sell these uh, in the shop. So if you um, would like to get some finishing fabric, uh, Chelsea's Checks, our Bella Bundle uh, that I showed to you last week is available in the Etsy shop and that includes uh, this color. Uh, so there you go, isn't that adorable? So this is Trick or Treat and that is chart number two that you receive in your booklet. Number three is Halloween Street. So this is our Halloween street. This is finished off. Uh, again, this is a white um, little box that they sell at Hobby Lobby. And then I did paint it black uh, with some chalk paint. Uh, but here you go. This is Halloween street. Look at how cute that is. I love the hat on the top of the chimney. 
just a really fun Halloween series, a fun stitch. And I just finished it with some gingham ribbon. Uh, this is a, just some wired ribbon I had. Um, so just finish that off. But there you go, that's Halloween Street. And then last but not least in this series is our Halloween Express. And here we are. This is our Halloween Express, this cute little train um, with the warning um, post right there and the bats. Um, and I, again, you know, just mounted this on some uh, press-on sticky board and used some of Chelsea's checks to mount it. And then this um, really neat uh, frame I got at Hobby Lobby um, and I just stuck in, you know, some fall foliage. This metal comes with it. So the metal comes with it. And then, um, you know, I added all of the the fall foliage and the pumpkin. Uh, and this came with it as well. So it's kind of neat when you go to Hobby Lobby because sometimes you can find some backings um, that work nicely as is. And then if you just want to jazz them up a bit, I'm sure you've got stuff in your craft room if you're anything like me or in your sewing room um, that you can add on. So that is Halloween Express. So those are um, the five charts that come in your booklet. So you can uh, purchase this if you'd like uh, in the Etsy shop today, which is Friday. Um, and then, uh, as I said, um, you know, this uh, will be available at the distributors and at the Needlework Expo in August. But for my floss tube uh, viewers and followers, um, I wanted to show you uh, this today so that if you are starting to think about stitching Halloween, you might want to stitch all the things Halloween by Annabella's. So there you go. Let me know what you think. I always love your feedback, you know. As a designer now, which is, you know, new to my my life, um, you know, because I didn't start designing before this past year, as far as cross-stitch goes. I've always been very artistic, but I haven't really started designing. Your feedback's important. So not only, you know, do I like comments on whether you like what we're putting out, but I would love to hear what you'd like to have us put out. So what would you like to see us design? You know what, that's gonna be the question of the day. Um, let me just jump ahead and I'll tell you now, the question for this week is gonna be, if you could have us design one type of series, what would it be? Uh, or one type of chart, what would it be? And just let me know, that'd be fun, right? Just something different than asking, what are you doing this weekend? Or, you know, last week's question was, tell me about your stitchy space. Um, so this week's question is, if you could pick one design for Annabella's to turn out, uh, what would you like it to be? What would you like to see us do? So there you go. I love sharing it with you. Um, and I did not stitch this. Uh, our model stitcher did, and she did an amazing job. Um, don't know what I would do without them. It's kind of crazy. I stitch as much as I can on my own, but sometimes these big series, it's just easier for me to send it to them because this takes a few weeks to do all these. So I have a lot of respect for model stitchers. Let me just tell you, couldn't live without them. Love mine to death. Okay, so there's that. Um, let's see what else I want to tell you. Um, now that I was showing all those pieces, I said I was going to put the item numbers below. It just dawned on me that the item numbers are not on those except for um, the big one, the All Things Halloween that I showed you, the big chart. So um, if I can find the links to the actual items, I'll put those below. Uh, if not, you'll just have to watch the video and then, you know, maybe take a picture of the video screen and then go to Hobby Lobby and see if you can match it. But I'll do my best. Um, just check below if it's there. Oh, I forgot one. Look at this poor little one. I knew there was five in the series. I forgot my little potion shop. <laughs> she was sitting on the right. There she is. This is potion shop. Look at her making up her potions with her little bat. She's got a little spider in her hair. She's being so silly. And this was finished just on uh, this really cool, this is new to Hobby Lobby. It's like a little cutting board and you can either lay it flat, you can hang it, or you can tilt it. Uh, and this will also look nice in a dough bowl. And um, I did finish this off with a little bit of um, burlap ribbon, and then I wrapped some uh, jute, uh, uh, orange jute ribbon, um, or uh, this jute stuff around it, and then just added uh, a couple leaves. But that is Potion Shop, and I'm so sorry I didn't show this. This is number five in the series. So there you go. Isn't that cute? So much fun. Really, so much fun. Love it. So. What else? Stuff. Lots of stuff here. 
All right, let me have a sip of coffee, grab a piece of paper. Um, there's lots and lots of things to show you. Probably gonna be here another half hour or so. Um, so if you wanna pause, get a cup of coffee, maybe grab a pad and paper. Um, these are just things that I've either brought back to the shop from last year uh, because we are approaching stitching for uh, fall now and Halloween and Christmas and you know this is the time of year where we all switch over and start doing um, you know uh, changing out our whips so um, some brand new things that have come in and then some things I've added to the shop or re-added to the shop so you can just take some notes maybe you know send um, info to a friend if you know they're looking for something special and you see it here um, that would be great. Okay. And I know I crack people up when I say, this is a no random order, <laughs> but it's not. Okay. Um, these are um, by Scissor Tail Designs. <clears throat> Pardon me, I'm having a terrible time. Um, these are by Scissor Tail Designs. They are not new uh, to Scissor Tail, but I brought them back this year because they were just so well received uh, last autumn. So the first one I'm gonna show you that I just got back in is Autumn Blooms. And because I have so much to show you today, I do apologize. I'm not taking many of these out of the sleeves, uh, but this is Autumn Blooms and it is really sweet. Then we have, um, let me put this basket up here so I can put this all back in the basket. Then we have Autumn Blessings. I really like that one. And last but not least, we have Winter Whimsies. This was very popular. Winter Whimsies. All three of those by Scissor Tail. Then I have quite a few Prairie Schooler to show you. So let's go through Prairie Schooler. The first is brand new. This is a brand new release by the, by um, Hoffman's. They put this out. They, um, I guess, purchased all of the rights to all the Prairie Schooler charts, but then they also turn out new ones, I believe. And this one is brand new to the shop, brand new this year, just came out. It's called A Merry Mini Surprise, and you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the Prairie Schooler Santas. So just look at that. And I can't open this even if I wanted to because it's in that really thin um, sleeve. But there they are. Look how cute they are. So that is a Merry Mini Santa. And all eight of those are included. Then this is back. Um, I'm bringing this back because I love these, this, this series that I'm going to show you right now. And if you want to stitch this up for Christmas, because you know, there's three designs in each chart, uh, I'm going to show it to you now because I want you to have a full six months uh, to work on it. If this is something that you'd like to do, it's called Christmas samplers. There's Christmas samplers one and two. Each of the Christmas samplers includes three charts. And I, I know it's hard for you to probably see this, um, you can probably get a non-glare photo, of course, if you go to the Etsy shop. But this is Christmas Samplers 1, just known as Christmas Samplers by the Prairie Schooler. And this one is my favorite of the two. This is Christmas Samplers 2. I just love this. The colors are gorgeous. The sentiments. There you go. Isn't that pretty? And see, you can make the smalls with it too. You can pull out a design and make a small like they did here, right? Just look, so fun. Nice, huh? Then, love this one. This is Pumpkin Patch. It's in there, look at that. Prairie School are so many cute things. And you get these two designs. You get this one and you get this one. And that's Pumpkin Patch. Then we have Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. This is Christmas Eve. Isn't he beautiful? Look at that Santa on the sleigh going over the houses. And what does it say? Merry Christmas. And then it says Noel, love and joy in very faint letters right along there. That's Christmas Eve. And then you wake up to Christmas Day. Isn't that fun? I just love it. And again, you get both of those. So those are the new 
items that I wanted to show you by Prairie Schooler. Next, I have some fun things I want to share with you by Stony Creek. Um, two, I'm bring, I brought back because I like them and I think you like them. And the third one is new to the shop, but I don't think it's new to Stony Creek. So the first one I'm bringing back is Winter Sampler. I just love it. Isn't that great? And then um, Winter Division of Nature. This is their Division of Nature series, but this is winter. They also have spring, summer, autumn. And then this is new to the shop. I don't know why I didn't carry this last year, but this is Down Home Harvest, and I fell in love with it when I saw it. It's so me, really. Isn't that Elaine? That is so Elaine. So there you go, Down Home Harvest. I just love it. So there you go. Not sure why I'm showing you this, but it's in the pile. So Cottage Garden Samplings has their A Time for All Season series. I know why I'm showing it to you because if you're thinking about autumn and you didn't see this series, you might want to stitch up this cute little squirrel. Um, wouldn't he be fun to display um, with your autumn decor or just to frame and give to a friend maybe? Um, but I think he's precious. And um, if you haven't checked out the series, you can. Uh, I think there's nine or 12. No, there's... No, this is number nine, but I think there's 12 charts in the um, A Time for All Seasons series. We carry them all, but this is the ninth. So that's Mr. Dill Squirrel. Then Amy Birkin Designs came out with two new charts. Um, the first one is Loved Boy, and the second one is Loved Girl. The boy says, you are stronger than you know and loved more than you can imagine and then you put the baby's name and the date. And that can be any date you choose, or you don't even have to put a name and a date at all. But there's that, that's Loved Boy. And Loved Girl has the same sentiment, but it's in pinks, very pretty. She's a great designer. We don't carry a lot of her items, and I'm not sure, I don't know that it's, we carry some of her items, but not all of her items. So I'll do some research and maybe add some more. I don't know if she's gonna be at Expo, but I'm going both as a designer to the Expo and as a, um, I, I'm shopping at Expo. So I'm gonna be doing two things, because uh, I wanna bring you guys all of the other uh, charts from all the uh, releases. So we'll be doing that for you. Okay, hands-on design. Um, these are actually um, not new, um, but I know how many of you love Kathy and love her designs. So I wanted to show you some charts that I thought were very special for this time of year that I thought you might like. The first is uh, Pumpkin Spice Farm. And we carry the chenille as well. That's Jack, I don't know if that's called Jack chenille. Let me see, yes it is, it's Jack chenille. So we do have the Jack chenille in the, sho in the shop. Then uh, Boo Chock Full. There you go. Sunflower Manor. I just love this. Isn't that gorgeous? I haven't designed anything on black yet, but stay tuned. We have something coming. Um, it's a bit challenging, let me just tell you. For me anyway, I don't know. My daughter might have more luck with it. I'm playing around and then I'll give it to her and say help. <laughs> um, but we are trying to design something on black. Um, and then we have Autumn Acres Farm. How fun are these? So there you go. Those three designs I just thought would be so special for um, this time of year as we begin to think about stitching fall. Then next, I have some new things and some old things to share with you from Blackbird Designs. I don't know how in the world I didn't show this to you a few weeks ago. This is brand new by Blackbird Designs. They don't turn out things very often, but when they do, I grab them. Terry put the stock away, and when I went to look for uh, something else, I found this. It is Deck the Halls by Blackbird Designs. This is brand new. It was just released. And in this booklet, you receive six strawberry patterns, um, all Christmas themed. So let me show you that. That is, it came upon a midnight clear. This is Christmas Visitor. Christmas Cactus. 
And as you can see, you don't have to do them as strawberries. You can do them as, you know, regular pillows or whatever. This is from Me To Thee. First day of Christmas. Dancing sugar plums. Oh, and that's it. And there are um, finishing instructions too. So you'll get your finishing instructions as well. So how cool is that? Brand new, Blackbird Designs, deck the halls. So grab them, while supplies last. Lane didn't get a lot of them. And Terry hit them. <laughs> then um, new, I think this is, this must be new to the, to the, to me. I don't know. I think this is new to me. This is Maria Selby Humphrey, 1831. So let me show you that up close. Isn't that beautiful? So there you go. And this you receive one. There's the pin drum. So it looks like three charts. That's the original. Look at that. I don't, it just amazes me. So that's from 1831. That's crazy. I was trying to talk to Terry this morning. It just so happens um, because he was asking me a question about modern folk embroidery and why um, we get these itty bitty, we get these charts and they're like $3. And I was explaining to him how modern folk embroidery does the uh, mystery sell for their big samplers. And then he said, what's a sampler? So then off I went. Um, but if you haven't checked out modern folk embroidery, um, be sure to. Their, their 2022 sampler is gorgeous. And although it comes out in little bits and pieces every month, um, the finished product is going to be stunning. Anyway, I digress. That is, <laughs> what else is new, right? So that is Maria Selby Humphrey, 1831 by Blackbird Designs. Then the next two I wanted to share with you is Blackbird Designs has um, a series called Loose Feathers. This is part two of three, but this is Loose Feathers Autumn. So if you're thinking again about autumn stitching, there you go. And I just love it. And there's the back. Neat, huh? And then I'm sure a lot of you um, already know about this booklet, but if you don't, I have to show it to you now. This is Home for the Holidays um, by Blackbird Designs. This book is filled with all kinds of Christmas charts for you to stitch up. Just look at that. And in it is... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve charts. So you get twelve charts in the book, and they're gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. Look at the Christmas garden. Ugh, try to turn pages. Oh, wow, this is beautiful. Blessings be thine. I mean, you could stitch up one or all of these. And remember that you can also just pull a motif or two from any of the charts and do a small, you know, and just make it your own. My heart is home. And there's finishing instructions for all of these. Gift basket. Holly and Ivy. Decorating the tree. So cute. And then all the finishing instructions. This is the meadow. There it is, much better picture. And it has the alphabet, so you can, you know, 
make it your own, put your initials. And then she has a tutorial about painted gift boxes. Which are these. And then this one is my favorite. Um, this sampler is gorgeous. This is Tis the Season. So there's the bird, the cardinal, but there it is complete. I think I'm adding this to my stash. I have this book in the in the hen den. I just haven't, it's not part of the, any of the whips I'm gonna be working on this year, but maybe next year I'll finish it. So there you go. Home for the Holidays, great book filled with all kinds of fun things for you to stitch up uh, for Christmas. Or, you know, those this, if you have a stitchy friend, this makes a nice Christmas gift, right? I'm always thinking, what am I gonna give so-and-so? There you go. Okay. Next, I have some fun things by Shepherd's Bush. Um, one new item and then two just FYIs. Um, these are spooky notes. I'm stitching all the note series. I've done autumn and I think I've started winter, which I'm gonna show you, but this is spooky notes. And then there is winter notes. Love this one. And if you type in Shepherd's Bush notes in the search bar, all the notes uh, charts will come up, but that's winter notes. And this is brand new. This is, we wish you a Merry Christmas. Now you're just getting the chart. The charms are not included. Uh, let me see if it says where you can get those. I don't know if it's just, another, yes, it is just another button company. Um, so you can get the button set from them. Fun, huh? So that is Shepherd's Bush. We still have a ton more. Okay, Silver Creek Samplings from Diane. I have two that I wanted to show you today. This just came back into the shop, but we're all stitchers, so I thought I would show this to you. This is Follow Your Heart. Isn't that fun? For all of us stitchers. And this one I thought was fun. This is um, Scary Things October Brings. Scary Things October Brings. Can you see that? Then Madame Chantilly has um, a great series. I'm having a reaction to my medicine. It's like I have hives or something's going on down here. It's very itchy. I had to stop taking the medicine they gave me um, when they discharged me from the hospital because I'm having a reaction to the meds. So whatever. I digress. Again, imagine. Okay. Uh, Madame Chantilly, her Celebrate series. This is Celebrate Halloween. So cute. Look at that. Isn't that fun? Celebrate Halloween. Celebrate Autumn, gorgeous, just gorgeous. No, that's a better picture this way. Whoops. <laughs> Celebrate Autumn. Celebrate Christmas. Love this one. Look at that. Look at that. I love that. And last but not least, well, there's others, but the last ones that I'm showing you today is Celebrate Winter. Look at the owl, isn't he beautiful? So that is, those four are all in the um, Celebrate series by Madame Chantilly. And then Puntini Puntini just came out with a brand new chart. Uh, this I have in PDF format and it just came out in um, printed uh, pattern as well. So I have both. So when you go to the shop, you can get it in PDF and download it immediately or you can order the paper pattern. And this is when I think of Halloween. And her When I Think series is very, very popular. If you haven't checked it out, like I always say, just type in When I Think in the search bar and you'll get to see all of her designs. They are absolutely adorable, very beloved, um, and very easy to finish off into pillows. And the stitch count on this is 132 by 52, so you can get an idea of how big it is, uh, which is not very large. And it was stitched on 36 uh, count uh, hand-dyed gray uh, linen by Zweigart. There you go. Blue Flower, uh, just two charts I want to share with you. The first is Harvest Magic. Look at that. You see that? 
see that harvest magic beautiful i love the pilgrim very cool and this one I, i've always loved this i keep coming back to this over and over again and i don't have this in my stash and i'm i don't know if i'm gonna add it to my stash i don't know i want to terry will kill me look i just have to leave it in the shop and not stitch it <laughs> But look at how beautiful that is. Isn't that gorgeous? It is just beautiful. And I, every time I see this chart, I come back to it. Look at the little backing. So cute. Look at those acorns and the leaf. So that's acorns. I just love Janine. All right. Mandy Dodonna has two new releases. The first is Sanderson Sisters Sarah. So the Sanderson Sisters, I believe, was a series that she collaborated with um, Rami from Rami's Creations. Um, and I think they made these caricatures of themselves. So not sure who Sarah is in the, in the mix, uh, but this is Sanderson Sisters Sarah. And then she came out with another pillow, uh, which is perfect for this time of year. It's garden. Her garden pillow. Very pretty. Okay, next is Ari. Um, we love Ari's patterns. These two uh, I had in the shop last year. People loved them, so I just got them back in again. The first one is Sabrina and Harry Gobblespell. Look at how cute they are. So that's Sabrina and Harry. They are cute as buttons. Fun stitch. Stitched on 28 count linen rainforest by Crossed Wings and all DMC floss. And then we have Rudolph and Alfina Gobble Snow. So there's both an autumn pattern and then here is um, the Gobble Snow. I love it. So there you go. Then um, Misty, I think this design was last year's, but I wanted to show it to you because I'm always surprised that there's not more Thanksgiving um, charts that come out, or maybe I'm just missing them. It's a good chance I'm missing them. But this one is Thankful, and I love him. Tom Turkey, right? So this is a Turkey Thanks. Um, she used uh, Classic Color Works and DMC and Week, so she does give you a DMC alternative. Um, she stitched this using one over two on 40 count soft porcelain linen by Luminous Fiber Art. So if you're not familiar, uh, Misty does also um, create uh, and curate her own line of cross-stitch fabric. Um, or linens, so you can, um, you know, purchase that. But that is what she stitched this on, and it's just beautiful. I love him. Stitch count is 93 by 74, if you're wondering how large that is. And the Rusty Gate ribbon, I believe we have in the shop. But there you go. Then Tiny Modernist's Mystery Sal. This is part one, and part two uh, just came out, so it's going to be listed in the shop for pre-order. So here's part one, um, and then part two is beautiful, but we're not allowed to show the pictures until August 1st. So if you're interested, you can get part one, and then I'm going to add part two by the end of uh, today, so you'll be able to order part one and part two and participate in the Mystery Sal. Tiny Modernist does one every single year. They're very much um, loved and very, very popular. And this series is Crystal Ball. Then I wanted to show you this by Plum Street Samplers because these little guys get me every time I run across them and I, I couldn't resist. Look at the little Halloweenies. They are so cute. So there you go. How fun is that? I love them. I love the fire hydrant and the pumpkins. And they've got their little sweaters on and their little Halloween hat. And they are adorable. And this model was stitched on 36 count vintage sand dune using one over two. Um, stitch count is 157 by 65. Classic color works and gentle arts. Um, and she uh, stitched it. Um, Lakeside Linens uh, is where the fabric that she used. 
and that's all all that's provided to you on the back of the chart but look at how cute they are <laughs> now hello from liz matthews this was crazy popular last year so let me show it to you it is i am stitching this i've got the bird about halfway done but you know i i didn't I haven't finished it yet it's in my whip pile i showed it during my whip parade uh but there you go token of fall by hello from liz matthews gorgeous look at the bird holding the acorn in his mouth it is the colors are gorgeous it's beautiful and liz stitched this on 36 count cream and sugar by fiber on a whim and uh, she gives you finished sizes from 14 all the way up to uh, 40 count. And it was stitched up with all DMC floss. So there you go. Barbara Anna, she is turning them out. So I've got three new ones and two um, last two previous year's releases that I want to share with you. This is gorgeous. I think I've already sold out, so I'm sorry, but I, I've got more coming, I believe. This is Dreaming of Van Gogh. Absolutely beautiful. Dreaming of Van Gogh by Barbara Anna. This is brand new. This is Winged Dreams. Look how beautiful that is. Winged Dreams. That was stitched on 32 count granite belfast linen by zweigart and it's about five and a half by six and a half when done let me see what this one was stitched on this is stitched on 28 count Brittany lugana even weave from zweigart in navy looks black but it's navy evidently this one is my favorite well i love those but i like this one too this is hand over the coffee and no one gets hurt <laughs> isn't that great i love this that's going in my kitchen. And then these two, I'm stitching this one. This is in my whip pile. Um, this is called Autumn. And this is in my whip pile, but I think I've only got this flower done and one stem. But I'm, you know, I'm not in a rush. But I wanted to share that to you, for you. And then this one uh, I brought back this year. It was very popular last year. This is Autumn Tree by Barbara Anna. I love the tree and how she, you know, inserted the little house and the sign and the crows. They're so cute. And then she's got the acorns hanging and the sweet little girl and fox standing under the tree for Autumn. Then we have Cross-Eyed Cricket. Um... We brought this designer in earlier this year, and you all have just really embraced her charts, and I'm sure she's very, very appreciative of that. And I saw this, and I just love it. This is her um, Acorn Autumn. It's beautiful. Just look at that. I love the alphabet embedded in there. And just look at how she did the top of that acorn. Isn't that beautiful? And there you go. That is Acorn Autumn. And let me see what this was stitched on. It doesn't say, so I'd have to open it up and it's in that funny stuff that I can't, I can't open it. I know she lists all kinds of overdyed linen by, oh, R&R uh, &R Reproductions, evidently. Um, and then um, next is Autumn. Autumn is by um, her as well. This is a brand new chart that just came out. No, it's not. It's not a brand new chart that just came out. It's a brand new chart to the shop. So um, this is Autumn. You can see all the fun motifs, the pumpkin and the bats and the apples and the cats, the blackbirds. There you go. It's going to be a while. Hold on, people. I have to pause. Mine is the hallway wasn't working. The hallway's been really hot. Okay, thanks, Daniel. Sorry. Our AC's out in the hallway and it's so hot out there. Then, um, I don't know how I miss sharing this with you. This came in, I don't know, a few weeks ago. And I, I think Terry, well, you know, Terry puts the stock away. Now I've told him, don't put the stock away because I have to be able to see it. If I don't see it, I forget I have it. And if it's new and you put it away, I don't even know it came in. 
so I end up not sharing it. So this is by Little House Needleworks. This is the Ain the Ann Goodall sampler. It's an English reproduction from 1799. So here she's showing you the actual. Uh, you, you're not seeing a photo of the chart, but what's inside is your chart to reproduce this, and it is going to be beautiful. There you go. And she suggests stitching this on 36 count straw from Weeks Dye Works. The stitch count is 306 by 347, which is about 17 inches by 19 and a quarter uh, when stitched over two on 36 count. Uh, she, of course, used all classic color works cotton uh, floss to reproduce the sampler. Um, so it is just beautiful. There you go. It'll be a, if you're, if you live up north and you're stuck in the house all winter, this would be a fun project, right? There you go. We are down to the last designer that I'm sharing today. This is Kathy Barrick. Um, we have three charts. They are not new. They're just um, some that I want to show you. I showed you her new charts last week. She did have three or four new releases that I showed you last week. But these um, I ordered and they just came in, so I want to share them with you. First one is Autumn Pindrum. Last week I showed you her new Summer Pindrum, which is beautiful, but I thought you would love to see her Autumn Pindrum. Look at how pretty. So there you go. And that's stitched on 36 count beige linen from Weeks Dye Works. I fell in love with this. This is her Reindeer Games. Colors are pretty, so pretty. This was stitched on 40 count vintage Luna from Lakeside Linens using one strand over two. Reindeer Games. And last but not least, this came out in Nashville, but I wanted to show it to you because this would be a fun stitch that kind of, I forgot to show you. This is the Moons of 2022. So how fun is that? There you go. So I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the new store haul. Um, there's a lot there, right? A lot to choose from. Okay, now I'm just going to share with you real quick some linen that came in. Make sure my hands aren't dirty. Um, and some other um, things. And then we're done. This is Lush Lawn by um, Lady Dot Creates. These are the mini palms. It's a brand new color. Um, you get two yards, 100% uh, polyester. And of course, these mini palms are great for your finishing. And this green is very pretty. Then we got in this gorgeous... Um, White Belfast Linen. This is 32 count uh, white Belfast Linen. This is available in the shop. And then this came in as well. This is gorgeous. This is by r, &R Reproductions. This is 36 count Butternut. And I know that this probably doesn't do it justice, but this color is gorgeous. So this is 36 count Butternut. That's also available in the shop. I love when we get new fabrics in. Then what I did is I wanted to share with you some Bella Bundles. Uh, I just have three that I'm going to share with you today. These are by, uh, this fabric is uh, called Cozy Up. It's by uh, Corey Yoder from um, Coriander Quilts. So if you're not familiar, um, very popular uh, designer. Um, and she created some really pretty um, colorways. So the first one I have in the shop listed as gray. So this would be Cozy Up Gray Bella Bundle. And just look at these fabrics. Aren't these great? These make such fun finishing fabrics. This one has the names of all the mate of all the trees. Then of course, this is just your pretty uh, check. This one I love. This is both maple leaves and acorns then fun little pin dots in orange you can't tell but that's like an orange yellow and then just this pretty floral so that is the gray bella bundle by Co cozy up gray is that bella bundle then look at this one these colors i just can't even here is the green look at that 
such a pretty green, a little bit different. Same of the floral here and the check. And then you have two pinstripes. You have a green on white and white on green. And then this is just the acorns and they're so cute. And these are small. These are, this is a small design. So they're not too large. So you can use those for finishing. How pretty. And these are fat quarters. So you're getting um, one fat quarter of each, of each, one fat quarter of each is what comes in your Bella bundle. So I thought that was fun. And then this I absolutely love. Um, this is the oranges, oranges and whites. So let me show you this. So there you go. So again, you have your check, then you have your um, trees all mentioned. Then you have your acorns and maple leaves, your pretty floral. Then you have your uh, orange on white um, uh, little dots, and then you have just the acorns. So just another fun Bella Bundle uh, that we have. And again, that is Cozy Up by Corey Yoder. <laughs> so, was that fun? I had fun showing you everything. Of course, I was partial to Annabella's new release. I just love this. Every time I look at it, I get so excited about it. It's just, I can't, it's so much fun to design this. I hope you guys like it. So that's all the things autumn. I mean, all the things Halloween. And just remember, these are only available uh, in the Etsy shop. So um, I hope you'll check them out. Okay, let's talk happy mail. Um, I think I'm all caught up. I have a couple people um, that just emailed me that one last week. So yours will go out when this batch goes out. Um, in order to win happy mail from Annabella's, you have to do a few things. You have to be a subscriber to my channel. You have to be over the age of 18 so I can ask for your mailing address. You have to comment on the question posed um, and you have to respond within two weeks from the time that you hear your name announced. After that, we don't go back and send happy mail. So just be sure to um, you know watch every week so that you can see if your name was announced because I'd hate for you to miss it. Um, and last week I asked people to tell me about their stitchy space. Um, so it was fun. Go through and read. Um, Terry just got here. You know, you can tell the bull in the china shop. Um, uh, last week I asked everyone to tell me about their stitchy spot. So that was kind of fun. You should read and see, you know, where everybody sits and, you know, what they find special about their spot. I thought it was kind of neat. And our winners were Joanne Toby. Nan Davis, Barbara Chase, Becky Hotanen, Jackie D'Amico, and Gold Beecher. So congratulations. Thank you so much for participating. Be sure to send me an email to annabellasshop at gmail.com. Um, the email address is above. It's just one N in Annabella's. So that's annabellasshop at gmail.com and I will get your happy mail right out to you. And then this week's question, like I said, is if Annabella's Needle Art were to design a chart or a series, what would you like us to design? Tell us what you would like to see us turn out for you and we will work on that. Um, so be sure to answer that question and maybe you will win some happy mail next week. So I hope that everyone does have a wonderful weekend ahead. Um, I hope that I will see some of you this coming Tuesday on the Sit and Stitch In. Um, I had a cancel last week because I was having a, that reaction and wasn't feeling up to it. Um, but either way, I will be back on Tuesday. So we'll have our Tuesday Sit and Stitch In. Um, and I hope this weekend you get to do all the things you love with the people you love the most. Next Friday, tune in for our huge announcement that we are making right here on floss tube and until then be happy be well be kind thank you so much see you soon bye